Hey guys, it's Michaela, and today I'm going to show you how to fix Google Maps when it's not working. It's pretty quick and simple, so let's jump in. I have my Google Maps open, and the first thing I want to do is to make sure that the app is updated. We'll do that by going out of the map, and we're going to go into our Apple Store, our App Store. We're going to type in Google Maps. And it is the first one. So if where it says open, if it says update there, that's your first thing you need to do is to update it. That could be throwing off your app completely. But if it says open, that means you're fully updated like I am and you're good to go. So once you update it, you can jump back in and it should be working. If not, the next thing to check is your Wi-Fi or cellular data to make sure that you have a proper connection. I can do that by dragging my finger from the top to the bottom corner of my phone, bringing up this options button. And right now it says that my Wi-Fi is on and my cellular data is on. I have full bars and full connection. But if your Google Maps isn't working, try to turn off your Wi-Fi and just run on your cellular data. It most of the time will work faster and you'll get a clearer connection and it should restart. The third thing we're going to try is to just reset the app just in case something went wrong, a setting was pushed, or you know it's an internal thing. To do that, all we're going to do is go out of the app and we're going to go to our settings on our phone. Then we're going to go to general, then iPhone storage, and then we're going to go down to Google Maps and we're going to offload the app. Offloading the app won't do anything to your phone or the app itself. It's a restart. It frees up storage in the app. It, you know, it keeps the, the essential documents and data. Restart the app, but it kind of just resets it. It's a clean slate. It's just like if you exited a, or deleted an app on your phone and then you reinstalled it from the app store. It's just doing that. It's resetting it, getting it back to where it should be. Perfect. So now that it's reinstalled, we can go back to the app. and it should be working fine. The last thing to try to reset or to make sure you can fix it is to actually go and make sure the settings in your phone are correct for this app. If we go back to settings, let's go all the way back, out of general. So now we're in settings. Um, we want to make sure that you are allowing the app to use your location and all those to turn on because if not, then the app is not going to work and it's not going to find you. So you go to settings and we're going to scroll down until you see Google Maps. Alright, I must have missed it. But there it is. Google Maps. Um, you want location to say while using or always. If it's uh, next, ask me next time or never, then the app is not going to be able to find you and it's not going to be able to find your location and therefore it won't work. So make sure you leave it on while you're using the app or leave it on always. If you guys have any questions or comments on this, if you need any help, let us know in the comments below. If not, if this helped you, like it, if, uh, and don't forget to subscribe. If you guys have any comments or questions on what we're going through right now, let us know in the comment section below. If not, like, and don't forget to subscribe.